Hi there and welcome to this video about creating a new database in Access 2010. Now when we first open Access we get to a screen a little bit like this and there seems to be quite a lot of different choices that we've got there. But before we do that let's just have a sort of think about what we're talking about here. What we're doing is we're saying we need to create a file, a database file and that file, that database is not just about the data that we're going to place in our database. So we're also looking at the forms and the reports and the queries and potentially the macros or code modules, etc., that might be um, linked to it to make it work properly. So we've got lots of different sort of types of assets that we're talking about. And all of those are held together, if you like, in one overall containing file called a database in Access. And so that's what we're looking to create here. Now, we are going to be just doing a straightforward blank database. We're not using any templates or anything like that. We're just starting off with a blank canvas, if you like, and we're going to be creating all of our resources in there. So we're choosing a blank database. We can give it a name down here. Now, in my case, I'm going to be using one of my um, uh, databases from my normalization uh, examples that I've done. So I'm going to call this uh, Pizza Shop. Database. Now I don't have to put uh, underscores in there, but I always fill with files. Uh, just in, in terms of um, uh, good practice, really, I don't tend to use spaces when I'm using files in case I end up using them in um, uh, any sort of um, web-related work or things like that. So I just try not to use any spaces. So I've got that there and I also need to choose where I'm going to save it. So in my case I've got a, a file here, normalization and database. So I'm going to put that into there. Okay, and then I click on create. Now at this point my database is now open. Okay, so I've got, you can see in the uh, title bar at the top here, it says Pizza Shop Database. So there's the name of the file and I'm now into the the possibility of being able to create assets or objects for my database. So in this case, it's showing me uh, data of type tables, and I've got table one ready to actually sort of start and add some information to if I want to. Okay, but I've got all of these different options here as to what it is I might want to do. I can choose tables there, I could choose queries, etc. And I'm able to sort of see the different objects that I'm able to put into my database. So now that's, that's that. Now the other thing to mention here is when we next come into our work, so let's say at the moment I close this, okay, then I'm back to this screen. Now if I wanted to go in and add some tables or reports or queries or whatever to my database, I don't then create another database to do that. I open up the existing one and that allows me either to do, to go to this option here, Okay, to actually see that one of my recent databases, or if it hasn't been that recently used, we could check under recent, which will probably have quite a few more recent databases under there, or I could just go to open and actually locate the database that way. Okay, and then that allows me to open it. Okay, and I enable the content there, and we can see I've got the database open and I'm back, if you like, where I'm ready to, to sort of make a start. So that is how to create a new database in Access 2010. 